It's the Craig Allen Maiden this time then. And a very small fill for this one, just six. As I said in a race earlier, get some NH horses uploaded if you can, because we've got a bit of a shortage, I think, at the moment. This is a three mile maiden hurdle. It's Hardy Accord, the top one for James Shea. Out of the gloom for John Morgan. Yeomanry implication for Hims. Lateral thinking, Leon Van Rensburg. Robin Faye's Martin Liedemann, the White Witch for Joshua Sutherland. So, six of the minute then. Hurdle race. They'll get round just one unlucky trainer won't pick up any cash and away they go. Uh, I've got a good feeling that one might be the one in the orange jacket because that's me and mine are running awfully so far this season. So the White Witch is the early leader. Robin Faze in second. And out of the gloom is third. The only re implication is after that one. Hardy Accord and lateral thinking as they race down towards the first. Over it they go, and Robin Faye's the leader, and the rest of them virtually in a line. At this point, Robin Faye's it is then by a couple of lengths. The pace is probably not all that hot. There's quite a few long distance hurdles this week as well. There's more long distance hurdles than there were chases, which is interesting. Robin Faye's in the lead. Out of the gloom, and the White Witch, lateral thinking, Hardy Accord. The field is pretty nicely grouped. Robin Faye's getting an easy lead at the moment as they skip over number two. Lateral thinking, just a back marker, but they aren't having such a good start to the season. Good day already today. You wouldn't count that one out, even though it's in the last place at the minute. There's still a long, long way to go. Robin Faye's in front, out of the gloom, second. Hardy Accord is third. And Witch moving up as well as they take number three. And a bit of a slow jump there by Hardy Accord. I've seen that one shuffle to the back. And Robin Faze is in front. And lateral thinking has crept up into second. We can see some of these being hard held at the moment. Robin Faze taking them along with a very easy lead. I've got just under two miles to race. Let's skip over number four. The one is pretty much the same. As we've been saying earlier on, there's a definite shortage of jumps horses so far this season, and the uploads window has been left open until week two. So if you haven't got any in yet, you've got some space in your stable. You can have 30, remember. Uh, load a few up because I think we could get some small fields the way things are going we had a couple of small ones today and we've got some small ones tomorrow as well robin phase is in front natural thinking second and the other four are all in the line as they take number six I'm surprised to see the john morgan horse at the back is normally at the front as they pass the winning post then they've got another circuit to go They're racing away from us Orange jacketed Robin Faze is in the lead. Lateral thinking is second for Leon Van Rensburg. And the White Witch for Joshua Sutherland is third. And Yeomanry implication, I think that might be Hims. And Hardy Accord, probably James Shea. And out of the gloom is John Morgan at the back. Racing downhill now then. The White Witch coming up alongside Robin Faze, who's not been headed yet. Well, I think he's about to be. We begin to get towards the serious end of the race. Oh, Robin Faze was right down on his nose there and surrendered the lead and nearly surrendered his place in the race as well. The White Witch is now suddenly four clear. Out of the gloom and lateral thinking. And Yeoman reimplication next then. The early leader, Robin Faze and Hardy Accord. Second of the Greys is the back marker, so topping and tailing the race then the Greys. At the moment. And the White Witch is four lengths clear. Perfect Indian file now as they take the eighth. White Witch out of the gloom. Yeoman reimplication, lateral thinking, Robin Faze and Hardy Accord. 
all six still in it. Robin Faye's beginning to struggle. As they make their way towards the next, just a little more than five furlongs still to go. This is the fourth last. And the White Witch jumped that one well in the lead. The young and implication is going pretty well though, and he's now being driven up to challenge for the lead. And has poked his head in front and has quickly gone. A length clear. So Yeoman Reimplication then has gone for home. White Witch suddenly caught a bit flat footed then out of the gloom and lateral thinking. I think we can forget Robin Faze and Hardy are called there fighting out fifth between themselves. But it's Yeoman Reimplication over to third last in the lead. Quickly gone five or six lengths clear of the White Witch in second. Then out of the gloom and lateral thinking. Two and a half furlongs to go. And has Yeoman Reimplication kept enough in reserve? There's a Leon van Rensburg horse in pursuit, remember? And it's Yeoman Reimplication in the lead. The White Witch, lateral thinking, out of the gloom, over the second last they go. Leader got over it okay, he's leads down to about five lengths, out of the gloom, the White Witch, and lateral thinking, back in the way, spurring each other on in that battle for second. Down towards the final flight, they come in. It's only a short run as well, the leader gets over it well, gets away from it well, and they're not going to catch him, I don't think, even though lateral thinking is trying hard. It's Yeoman Reimplication that's going to take it. Yeoman Reimplication wins it from lateral thinking second. Out of the blue third, then the right which Hardy Accord was next, and Robin Faze was some distance away at the back. And it's a win for Yeoman Reimplication from Lateral Thinking Second. So let's take a full look at the connections in. And Yeoman Reimplication takes it for Hems. Lateral thinking for Leon van Rensburg, second. Out of the gloom for John Morgan, third. The White Witch for Joshua Sutherland was fourth. Hardy Accord for James Shea was fifth. <laughs>